Hey guys, what's up? It's ATF. I'm doing an EDC update, but I'm doing it from my phone. Uh, my camera just died out uh, a few minutes ago, so I was right in the middle of my EDC update, so I thought, well, why not make it with my phone? So it's going to be a little shaky, so sorry about that, uh, but let's get to the EDC update. Uh, I have all my things laid out and because I can only use one hand, so... Just, you know, again, excuse the shakiness, but first things first, the uh, keys. Still have the Princeton Tech LED on there. Only thing I've really added since last time, and I'm not going to show you everything um, that I have added in the last, you know, six months or whatever, just because that would be way too long, is this uh, S Beaner number one, five pounder. Again, this is the number three, which is what, like 20, 25 pounds? All right. Next item, up for bids, no, is my gum. I like this stuff because, well, for one, it's peppermint, it's really refreshing, and, you know, coming from a guy like me who makes out with so many women, I, I don't even, I don't even think I can count that high, you know, um, I need the refreshing breath, and since this is now flavor charged, it does that for me, so... All the women seem to be happy, so thank you, Denty Nice. The tools I have been using uh, are usually these two. Uh, let me move those so I can get a better shot. Um, the Griptilian and the Squirt P4. Kind of stand that up a bit. Um, I like the P4 because it's just a great tool. And for those guys who, uh, who are... Uh, my subscribers and some of you guys have actually brought it to my attention that you too um, have the hobby of geocaching the squirt p4 is just an invaluable tool for that uh, you will find so many uses um, for the p4 even if you aren't a geocacher or you know whatever a nerd like me uh, still it's invaluable no matter what you do so I would highly recommend the p4 to everyone and their grandma all right, the Griptilian is also a great knife. I haven't gotten like a new big blade. Um, I'll probably buy one for myself for my birthday, so that's why I keep you know carrying this guy around. Um, and I thought I was going to say something else, but I guess I wasn't. So those are the uh, the cutters and the tools. On to the next tools. It's been it's the flashlights, and you know these guys as the, let me see if I can get that in focus, the micro stream, and let me, and the Quark Mini 1, 2, 3, great uh, flashlights, very pocketable, I uh, love the small size on both, um, again, just like the P4, these guys, invaluable tools, you'll find uses for them, that you never would have imagined. All right, get that focused. All right, next thing is a pen. This is my new, whoops, sorry. Uh, this is my newly acquired Fisher Space Pen. Um, I have the flashlight on my phone on. Let's, let me see if uh, I can get you a shot of that pearlescent you know, finish there. Man, look how beautiful that is. Isn't that nice? Oh, there you go, whoa. Nice, very nice, oh it's so beautiful. So uh, that's the pen I'm carrying now since I just got it and um, loving it as uh, what? what's that place, McDonald's? I was going to say Burger King. Wow, why am I thinking about food? I don't know. But anyways, loving that pen. Again, man, that pearlescentness is so freaking nice. Next thing I'm carrying is the Max Bedician. Um, oh wow, just forgot the name. What is it called? Wow, seriously, big brain fart. What is this thing? Called? Oh, the three by five, of course. Um, wow, I'm slow. Anyways, yeah, I haven't been carrying this as much, you know, since I got my new phone, which I'm using now, so I can't really show you guys. Um, but um, I used to carry my 3G in there. Also have my little wallet in there. I have a backup space pen clipped in there. And uh, this little guy, which I can't really show you, is actually my Leatherman um, 
Freestyle CX in a little sheath. And that all fits in there, and it's a nice little package. And, you know, I'll carry that, you know. Well, hold on. I'll, let me jump over, actually, to my phone case. This is the phone case. I was actually going to show you this last, but this is my Night Eyes. Whoa, why is it all white? Overexposure. Huh. Uh, this is my Night Eyes case. I got it at REI. This is 12 bucks. It's the Night Eyes Sideways Size Medium. Oh, my gosh. What is wrong with this? Hold it back, I guess. And uh, really great case. Has the uh, belt loop there. Really easy to take on and off. Uh, Velcro, which is my preferred method of uh, closure, but it's all right. Does the job, and at 12 bucks, it's a steal because you could easily jump over to the Apple Store and find something the exact same size for 30 to $40. Easy. So this thing is awesome. Um, so... Sometimes I do carry these two together, you know, I'll carry this just in my hand or actually sometimes I clip, take that clip and actually put it right there. And so it's a little, it's kind of a big package, but it works. Uh, one of the newer things I've added are these guys. You guys know them as bandanas or handkerchiefs. And again, I want to just say something real quick. Sorry about this kind of, uh, you know, fruity background, just want something different. And uh, it's just a towel, so, you know. Anyways, um, yeah, I was at Walgreens. I think it was around Father's Day, and I actually saw that they had a deal. Buy two uh, uh, handkerchiefs for $3. Now, handkerchiefs by themselves are really cheap, so I thought, man, two for three, that's a great deal. And I've never even seen them over there at Walgreens. So I thought, hey, what the hey, I am going to buy one. I'm sorry, I actually buy two. So I went in the store one day, knew exactly where they were, and I knew I wanted white. Uh, many reasons for that, which I will explain in a second. And they had two left, and I thought, perfect. Bought the last two, and I'm good to go. Uh, and I went back to Walgreens a couple days ago, and they're gone. So, man, perfect, perfect timing on my part. Uh, for Now, let me answer this question. Why do I carry them? Uh, just because there's so many uses for them. I'm probably not going to say all that in this video. You can make a whole separate video all about handkerchiefs, believe it or not. Um, I carry two at the same time. I carry one in my back right pocket and one in my back left. It uh, also provides a little extra cushion for your buttocks, um, which is very nice. So, <laughs> And I chose white because, well... Here in California, you know, there are many gangs that use the colors red and blue. Red and blue are very common handkerchiefs, handkerchief or bandana colors. And so I didn't want red or blue. Even though I like red a lot, I refuse to buy it because there are many gangs uh, who, whose colors are red or blue. Here in California, we have two big rivals, uh, the Nortenos and the Serenos, or Northerners and Southerners in English. And um, the Northerners uh, use red, Serenos use um, uh, blue, so, and also down in L.A., it's a big, big gang, the Crips and Bloods, Crips use blue, Bloods, obviously red, and, you know, I thought, well, white is neutral, you're not going to get any attention from it, and I only heard of one gang in the whole country that uses white, and they are the Nietas out of New Jersey, and they they are uh, about 3,000 miles away. So guess what? I am absolutely fine with that. You know, um, again, there's there's no gang affiliation here, so I'm not worried about that. Oh, and to top it off, we also have a local gang here called the Fresno Bulldogs, and they use red also. So, <laughs> yeah, really don't like red or blue, uh, you know, even though I'm a fat, ugly white guy. You know, I don't want some old grandma thinking I'm a bulldog or a Norteño or a Crip or a Blood or something. So go with the white and you're completely neutral, you know. It's great also to carry around in summers like these in Fresno where it's hot. You can use it to uh, wipe your face off and then, you know, ew, what was all, <laughs> it's all dirty, nasty. Anyways, and then, you know, throw them in the uh, dry or throw them in the dryer. Throw them in the laundry, and yes, I do wash these regularly. So um, even if I didn't use them, I, I still wash them just to make sure they're always clean. Because, you know. Anyways, there I am now at my 10-minute mark, guys. Y'all take care. There's my EDC update from the iPhone. Thank y'all for watching.